Alright, hey guys, welcome back to Life is Strange. Uh, I took a real long hiatus. <laughs> I didn't realize that school would be so much. Um, I did a bit of the, I did a vlog, a couple of vlogs in my absence though. But other than that, yeah, let's just, let's just get right back to the game. Alright, so we gotta get Chloe's morphine injector. Um, I'm pretty sure we already saw like most of these that things. That must be her mighty morphine machine. No more bongs for her. Did she ever, though? Whoa. Chloe can totally control her computer. Oh, yeah, yeah, so yeah. So great people get this high-tech help. Yeah, 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 yeah. We saw that last episode. Bathroom. I'm so glad we had a that. movie night. Even if you crashed on me. <laughs> That's why they call it a sleepover. All right. <laughs> Let's just leave her room. Oh, my God. There's William. Bill should all just say, dear sir, you are screwed. Damn. Damn, this is just for Chloe's basic supplies. Holy crap, $8,587. Tab. Save me. Dang. Save me a bowl, gotta bounce. Come by my room tonight. Max, are we cool? Just wanted to make sure since you walked out away so fast. Nathan was worried too. If you want to talk, hit me up, Kay. Love you. Max, if you're mad, just tell me, Kay. Silence if you want to talk. My door is open. Love you. Dang. Dang, Taylor. Uh, call me back. Dad, have a very special 18th birthday. Oh, yeah, he sent that. Nathan. Um, yo, yo, Max, you're around to let me shots at the contest suite, so no two whales for you. Not yet. See you guys later. Those are all pretty normal messages. Chloe. Hello, Max, this is William. If you want to contact Chloe, you can use this number. She would love to hear from you. See you soon. Hope bye. Hey, Chloe, Maxine here. It's been a while. I just want to let you know that I'm going to Blackwell Academy. I hope this is still your number. Max is back. Blackwell, that is your rules. Oh, yeah. Cool, I've got a bullet of a bullet cut together soon. Don't tease me, it's been too long. I know, I'll see you soon. Hmm. Max sounds a little bit mean in those messages. Um, uh, hey Max, it's a shame that you hung out with those people. I thought you were different. Unless I saw you throw toilet paper at me. OMG, I was so not aiming at you, I swear. Don't do it again. Damn! Max is such a... Biatch! Oh yeah, we didn't look at any of those things from last episode. Like, at all. Um, thanks to Victoria and Nathan, they surprised me with the most beautiful. La, 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 la. Hey, everybody, Max, busy, XR, and I must you must leave. Miss Best Friend should rekindle with Chloe, too, but Max, four text first. Party time. Oh my god. Ridiculous. What happened to you, Max? You're a total B. I don't like you in they this gave way. Chloe, their giant, expensive HDTV. And they use our shitty tube television. No, William. You were already run over once. To think that our destiny is linked to goddamn car keys. Hey, what's up, William? Let me look at the paper first. They might get their own home taken away because of medical bills. Let's later to notify you that you are in default of your payment obligations. The current account holds the amount $12,000. Must be payable by this date. The amount has been overdue since March 1st. Oh my god. Dang. Newspaper. Let's look at that too. These whales are just a preview of the tornado to come. And the Prescott Foundation? Has that to provide Jesus. access research funds given the local scope. Rachel of Amber is even missing in this reality. I guess I can't change everything. Damn. All right, no, I think we can talk to I don't William think now. Joyce's tips will cover all this. Hey, William. Um, am I bothering you? Why, yes, Max. I love going through bills. <laughs> Kidding. How can you bother me? I haven't seen you in forever. <laughs> I know. You look exactly the same. <laughs> it's so cool. Good. Or I'd be scared if I didn't look like me. <laughs> of course, you seem more adult now. So what's on your mind? Chloe. I don't know how to say this, but I'm truly sorry about what happened to Chloe. 
Me too. All it takes is a few minutes to change a girl's whole life. But she's alive. She's been a trooper. Mm-hmm. Is she mad at me? Glad you're here. Mm -hmm. Let's just let's just get them out. Is she mad this at me for not staying in touch? Step out of the way. She should be. I have no excuse. She was disappointed, but she knows you care, and I know how hard it is to process all this. It's taken us years. William, mm -hmm. I just want you to know that whatever happens, I'll always be here for Chloe. Always. I know you will, Max. Um, let's ask about Joyce. Being around you and Joyce again is so nostalgic. Very old school, as they say. <laughs> I think it's great for Chloe to see you. Makes Joyce happy, too. So, it's not all bad news in Arcadia Bay. Or is it? Who knows? Mmm. Let's talk about the Prescott family. The Prescott family might be bad news. What do you think about them? Evil. Next mm. question. <laughs> Sounds like you know them well. More than I want to. But Joyce has to work for those greedy bastards at Pan Estates. I don't even like to think about it. Let's talk about Rachel Amber now. I was reading about that missing girl. Rachel Amber? Oh, yes. Yeah, she went to Blackwell, right? Oh, poor thing. That's a real nightmare for a family. I get scared thinking about Chloe and that we might lose her someday. Well, let's send what it with the weather. What is going on with all of this crazy weather and animals dying? Nobody knows, right? It is Nostradamus type shit, pardon my French. Mm -hmm. But all I actually care about now is Chloe and Joyce. My family. You're right. What about the care room? I was impressed by Chloe's room and all the high-tech equipment. You should be. We could buy a few mansions for what it all costs. The insurance helps, but... Uh, I don't know, Max. I know it must be hard on you guys, financially. These bills are more like crushing. We have to mortgage our home, and that's pretty scary. But, but we'll get through it. The price is always right. Get it? No? I have to go see if Chloe needs anything. <laughs> it was so great talking with you again. <laughs> you act like it's the last time. And please, keep me from these bills whenever you want. <laughs> Good, good. I like talking to you. You're a good guy to talk to. What? <laughs> what is it, the cookie jar? Change to spare anymore. Oh, <laughs> the swear jar. Was that what they had before? Swear jar, right? Choices of food coupon boss. Nice. I've always wanted to start couponing, but I felt like it was just always so much work, and I felt like I would never be able to like do it, like, well. It's a lot of research. <laughs> All right, let's see. Can we go into the garage? No. Can we leave the house? Can we leave Chloe? <laughs> Flyer four. Joyce and William never had a garage sale before. Hmm. Mail. They're drowning in debt, just to take care of their daughter. Such bullshit. Jesus Christ. So expensive. That's so sad. All because of some other asshole. Part of my French. <laughs> what room is this? Is this Chloe's old room? It was. It is. Wow. Is this a letter I sent to Too bad Joyce and William can't get any help from the Prescott Foundation. Thank you for keeping me updated and unconditioned. I can only imagine the struggle, blah, blah, blah. I'm underwater with my own medical bills. Please give Chloe a hug and my best wishes. Hmm. They bought crutches for Chloe, hoping she might walk again. Aww. Why is this game so sad? Toys? I kind of want to open this and see what's in here. Do it. Can I, can I do it? Shoes. <laughs> Chloe always did love stomping around in her boots. In her booties. I never heard much about William's brother. 
Hi, Bill. Sorry for not staying in touch in the accident. Work has been piling up, piling up, and I've been sent to all Salt Lake City to oversee a new parking lot. I have to go where the work is these days. I wish I could send you a bigger check, but you know the story. Money is nobody's favorite thing. Maybe I'll see you next spring for a visit. Well, that's nice. At least you gave, you gave him money. At least something, you know. Something always helps. I'm still overwhelmed by this new reality. I feel so guilty for putting Chloe and her family through this. But like, what would I, I could you choose? The choice of keeping William alive, but that would be cruel. But then I see that they're a family again, and who am I to judge? Ugh. Like, if I had to make the decision about what reality I would choose, I wouldn't know anymore. I feel like I would choose the original. I guess we stopped growing up together. Closet. Chloe's gonna die downstairs. We never had to hide from step douche. <laughs> a blue butterfly? I'm sure this is a total coincidence. Damn, the blue butterfly from what was it, episode one? Jeez, episode one seems like so long ago. What was that uploaded, like three, four months ago? Holy crap. That is crazy. Alright. Uh, can we go into that room? Restroom. Let's turn on the light. Switch one. Alright. Um, mirror. How's it going, time tripper? It's funny. I think I look older. Probably do. Here it is. I never thought I'd be delivering morphine to my best friend. Is that the only thing that you need? The bathroom looks almost the same. Just more medicine. Um, sure. Let's open all the drawers. Nothing here. All the things, all the things, all the things. It's Even cool though we already got the morphine. Chloe uses natural medicine, too. How natural? Like, hemp natural? Natural. Alright. Oh, let's see. Let's turn off the electricity, because they're in debt. Let's go into Joyce's and William's room. Oh! Oh, Max, it is so nice to have you around. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I mean, just walk in. Good morning, Max. Oh, you and Chloe are so much quieter now than when you were kids. I remember. It's nice waking up in your house again. Oh, William and I love it. Finally seeing you and Chloe together after all these years. After the accident. Yeah. Let's talk about Chloe first, you know. I wish I was a better friend. I know Chloe doesn't get many visitors. Oh, Max. You're Chloe's best friend for a reason. You're here exactly when she needs you. I hope so. I hope so. You guys do such an amazing job taking care of her. We can only do so much. And she gets damn sick of her parents. <laughs> That's why it's so important you came to spend time with her. Max, Chloe's condition is not improving. Her respiratory system is very weak, and she... She... Do you know what I'm saying? <sighs> Choice. I'm so sorry you have to go through all this. Bad or good, I embrace every moment with my daughter and my husband. This is what it means to be a family. And we'll always be one, no matter what. Let's talk about William now. I have to tell you how much I love seeing you and William together again. He's been such a hero through all this. Chloe and I, lucky to have him. William still the same? Is William still the same? After everything that's happened? For better and for worse. But always for the better. I... I never thought I'd love a man so much I can't imagine life without him. Wow. <laughs> Sounds corny, I know. <laughs> you rule, Joyce. Shit. Things would be different if I did. I like how you think, kid. Alright. Let's talk about you now. How you doing? How are you doing, Joyce? I'm doing the best I can, Max. I won't lie. It's difficult. But nobody said life was easy here in Arcadia Bay. David Matson. 
Oh, let's bring him up. Do you know somebody named David Madsen? He, um, might hang out at the two wheels. Well, that was random. Yeah, he's a, a bus driver. He comes in sometimes. Cute, quiet. Why? Oh, um, I, w I was just curious. You always were. Nice to see that everything doesn't change. Mm -hmm. A lot of work. Plus, you guys have to work, too. Ah, oh, Bill and I have no time for ourselves. We're working more than we're living. I even had to take a part-time gig at Pan Estates. Ugh. Do you know the Prescotts? I know that Sean Prescott won't be happy until he owns everything in Arcadia Bay. Stay away from his son, Nathan. Alright. So, what do you think is going on here with all of this eco-havoc? Maybe Arcadia Bay just wants to be left alone. I know the feeling. Honestly, I don't give a shit about too much outside our house. I don't blame you, Joyce. Nice. Except now we have dead birds and beach whales outside our front door. So maybe I should care, for Chloe's sake. Mm -hmm. I better get back to Chloe now. It's good talking with you, Joyce. You too, honey. Yeah, now I'm gonna go through your bedroom. Let's see, let's look at that. Oh no. I didn't realize how bad Chloe's injury is really was. Of her recent immunity and loss of breath. As a doctor, I'm committed to her well-being, but I want you to understand the reality that respiratory failure is common in people that se with severe spinal injuries. Your daughter is one of the bravest, strongest patients I've ever had, and I'm proud to be working with her. I just want you as parents to prepare for any and all possibility. I believe Chloe should also be made aware of her changing condition. If you would like to discuss this further, you have my contact information. Damn. Gosh darn it, Chloe. Why? It's good for Chloe to stay in touch with her friends. Yeah. It is. Let me just go through your stuff real quick, though. William is trying so hard. He's still awesome. <laughs> that is such a sweet shot of Chloe. I wonder who took uh, the picture. Sure, that's beautiful. Look at them. They have no idea what's in their future. That's freaking crazy! All this stuff. Okay, let's go back downstairs, maybe after checking outside for a bit. Apparently the only thing that hasn't changed is this view. Let's run, 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 run. Run, we've been away from Chloe for like <laughs> 17 minutes already. Run, 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 run. Oh no, Chloe's dead! No, I'm just kidding. She's alive. Morphine. Finally. Uh, give me the blue pill. I'm sorry. I'm nosy, but not precise. Go ahead and plug it right in. It's so easy. And painless. Um, okay, but get ready to yell for your folks if I screw up. Oh, trust me. I will. Of course, my pain just keeps getting worse. But you caught me on a good day. Max, I'm mm -hmm. so grateful that I'm even able to hang out with you. See, I'm getting mushy. I'm already high. <laughs> my morphine's working. You're so adorable. Do you want anything else? Um, stop me if I'm being too emo. But can you grab one of the photo albums over there? I'd like to check out some old pictures of us when we were kids. Damn. Please. Corny. My diary is like emo ground zero. Plus, Max Caulfield does not pass up a photo op with Chloe Price. Ever. Alright. Snow dough. I think we checked all that stuff last episode. Lamp. Uh, that's just to keep her warm. Let's look out the window real quick. Does Chloe look at the garden and think about her childhood? We did that last episode. She can't even feel the grass now drawer photo album let's take it Chloe I've got the present is that okay perfect 
Oh my god. Look how little we are there. We look like toys. I remember that day by the lighthouse. My dad was pissed at us. He actually tried to give us a time out. <laughs> he laughed at him. <laughs> my dad would have banished me. Turn page. Don't know why I have to do that manually, oh, but... Awesome picture. We look so badass in our pirate gear. We should have taken over Arcadia Bay when we had the chance. There's still time for you. Oh my gosh. Why are you so sad? Jeez. It's li I literally just have to turn the page. Oh man, there we are making pancakes. I love that shot of us. It's hard to believe my dad took that picture only five years ago. Literally seems like yesterday. <gasps> it was. Me. me too. This photo. Maybe I could. No. Don't give me the choice. Listen, Max. My respiratory system is failing, and uh, and it's only getting worse. I've heard the doctors talking about it when they thought I was zonked out. So. I know I'm just putting off the inevitable while my parents suffer along, and I will too. This isn't how I want things to end. What? What are you saying? I'm saying that being with you again has been so special. I just wanted to feel like when we were kids running around Arcadia Bay and everything was possible, and you made me feel that way today. I want this time with you to be my last memory. No! Do you understand? No! Yes, I do. All you have to do is crank up the IV to 11. No! I will not. I will not. Nope. No. 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 Refuse. No. I can't. Can't. It wrecks me to see you in any pain, but I don't have any right to do this. I'm an adult. I'm giving you the right. But Joyce and William. I already said my goodbyes to them, but they won't honor my wishes. You will. No! I can't kill you with an overdose. Max, I'm dying from my illness, not my dosage. This accelerates the process. I'd rather go out on a wave than a rock. And I want my best friend to help me out. I am going to help you, but not like that. You have to believe me, Chloe. Why, Max? You're just bailing on me like everybody else. Why don't you go now? You've been wanting to since you got here, right? So go and don't come back. Oh my god. Chloe, I am never leaving you again. Uh, can I uh, turn the page? I'm sorry, William. No. No! <laughs> No! 